Oh, crap. My voice levels. Here we go. Hi, I'm Sarah from Schooling Sarah, and I'm gonna try my hand at a classroom setup vlog. Wish me luck. Okay, so day one of finally being able to be back in my classroom. And this is what the car looks like. Here we go. So I ran out of paint, so obviously I'll have to get more of that. So I think these guys are actually gonna go up here because they're a little bit too big for that shelf. That's gonna be my library, but I haven't done anything. Day one progress. Hey guys, so I'm at the end of day two and I'm just gonna show you a few of the things that I worked on today. So I still have to border these, but these are my reading groups. This is my new favorite thing. So I cut these out with the Cricut and then laminated them. And then I print and cut these out with the Cricut. And so they're gonna be the continents this year. Okay, so this area is not finished. I still need some border, but that's gonna be my group area. And then I have my calendar and my birthdays and the birthday chart is from a decoration pack that I got on TPT and I'll link it below um, and then I have my no name section with just a dry erase packet pocket um, and then I have my dojo store and those that banners from a decoration pack and so is the class job section and then I just used the target dollar spot pouches to put the jobs in and I'm gonna put velcro below them Then my mom came today and helped set up all these boxes, which was awesome because I didn't have to do it. And they really helped me stay organized. So that's my anchor chart area for reading. And I got these letters from clearance from Michael's for like $2 a piece. So exciting. Um, it's one of my favorite posters. I took a Hobbit poster and added stuff. And then I'm putting this border around it to look like a frame. <sighs> okay. Reading board, math board, my board cool light from ikea please ignore i haven't gotten to um and then two of my friends have fallen down so i gotta have to bring nails and a hammer on monday but i'm doing these posters came from i'm not sure but i will remember and, and link it and i've got two more that are in frames that didn't stay up and then these are going to get bordered by this border just as soon as i get more of it so this is one of my favorite areas because I'm going to build what I'm calling like a garage around these so that one, there's a nice even top and two, if they're going into the drawer for something, they don't jiggle like a turn in bin or the pencil area or whatever. Um, cause this is going to be their supply area. That sign is going. Um, I still need to do the word proud. I had already made it from last year and it just didn't make it from transferring from one wall to the other. And day two is complete. Doesn't look like a whole lot of changes, but actually a lot was done. Well, now the wall's painted, so I guess you could say that it was done. So I'm just leaving, um, and I could have left a little earlier, but I was talking, and we usually get let into our classrooms at least halfway through August, and because they were painting this year, this is the first time we've been allowed in, and we start back to school week, pre-teacher week, on Monday. 
So I really wanted to get in and get some stuff done because that pre-teacher week is so tiring. I just want to leave at the end of the day. I don't want to have to stay and work in my classroom because I didn't get anything done. So I'm currently on my way to the teacher store because I am out of border and I need it. And I also have a list of things to get. Like I need batteries, I need uh, Velcro, I need those heavy duty command strips because I'm hanging picture frames and I don't know if I can put nails in the wall. So that's the end of day two and that's the end of my working in the classroom for this week. So I'm almost home, it's been a long day, um, but I can't wait to show you guys my finished classroom next week and I will keep you updated.